So I'm about to walk into the container store to look at a bunch of the new organizing products that just dropped. So I'll be going through each product, why I like it, what's new about it, and hopefully sharing some of the price points and other details um, and some ideas for where to use them. Let's go. So I already got a sneak peek at this line from a friend who is a fellow Nashville pro organizer and I was in love. So I'm so excited to see this. From my initial view, this stuff looks better than the home edit line and I'm pretty excited about it because I've heard the price points even better. So let's check all of these items out and see what we can find. There's one item in particular I'm super excited about seeing and this is the new egg drawer. If y'all have watched me for a while then you know that I tried to hack my own egg drawer using the home edit line and it cost over $40 to do it and this one is only $22. So I love that this is an actual egg bin drawer. One, I didn't have to buy two things, a drawer and a a separate bin and hack it all together but this is so great because it holds 18 eggs and you can stack another fridge bin on top of it and it's only 22 bucks when I had to hack the other one it was over $40 Okay, I'm also really loving this three, excuse me, two tier soda can dispenser. So you can put a whole case of cans in it and they also roll onto the top. What a great thing for the fridge. This is a water bottle holder and they even put the rubber grips so they don't slide out and they're stackable. And I think one, two, three, four, across but you can stack these wherever you need them in a cabinet so you utilize your vertical space and they are $14.99 each I love it they also have these packs of four kind of like to get you started on your fridge organization journey for $43 so about $10 a organizer which is a pretty good price point Okay, I'm also really digging this food storage lid organizer. I think you could use it for Tupperware like they show it here, but what I'd really wanna use it for are the pots and pans lids. Comment below if you have a pot and pan lid problem, cause I know I do. Okay, one of my favorite products at the container store are these everything bins. They come in a variety of sizes and now they come in a deep depth so that you can maximize the size and the vertical space in your drawers and just organize that much better. And I love that they've made these in so many different widths so that they can cover the whole length of a drawer and just so many options for configuration. Um, and that's why I like to shop here. And to me, it's worth a little bit more expense when I'm doing this for a client. And they have this amazing um, spot in the store that has a slide out where you can actually configure your drawers in the store using their products. So this is my favorite set. And I'm so glad that they have added um, different configurations and depths so that it makes organizing even easier. Okay, more fridge stuff. So I'll have to do a little bit of research because iDesign makes a fridge bin that's very similar to this that I found on Amazon. But what I'll say here is the container store has such a variety of sizes. Look at this shallow wide fridge drawer and they've got one that's a little deeper. I mean, talk about the level of customization that you can do. And they're at a much better price point than the home edit stuff, which is so refreshing because that is such a barrier for so many people. So I love that the container store is putting these things out here and they even thought to add a divider so you could put two different types of fruits on each side two different types of vegetables i love this for customizing the fridge and i love that they've been so thoughtful in the way that they've designed it it's like they worked with pro organizers to design these items Okay, they really thought things through with these pantry bins. So they are the perfect depth, 10 and 3 quarters inches, which means you can use a cabinet shelf to place them on and they won't stick out. You'll still be able to close your drawer. But the best part is that they have dividers. So if you want to put a bag of chips or an open bag of oatmeal or oats or a bag of chocolate chips, they can all have their own little slot and you can group like items together to make pantry, pantry organizing really simple. Okay, this might be my favorite item. So this is where I think the container store definitely beat out the home edit and thinking through these products. So this is a tiered shelf. And as you can see, it's wider on the top. And so you can put cans or oils and vinegars, stuff like that, and really maximize your vertical space. But generally you lose all this space underneath the shelf. Well, they've taken care of that and put a drawer at the bottom of the tiered thing. So you can put all those little spice packets, you know, like taco seasoning, French onion, soup mix all that stuff can go under there and they have a nut two sizes and then they also have an expandable one which the home edit has one too but this one comes in at a better price point at 26.99 okay, so this is a 
Lazy Susan Clear, the home edit has one that's the exact same price, but it has one divided bin inside. Let me show you what that one looks like. Okay, this is the divided turntable from the home edit. Looks very similar to the one you're about to see. It's $29.99. It has one container and two little slots for dividers that you can adjust. So the container store turntable divided turntable is also $29.99 and it comes with two of the little wedge organizers that you just saw but for five dollars well almost six you can add two more dividers and what I see us using this as or using this for is let's say that you organize your bathroom supplies and you put all of your nail polish and your cuticle remover and your nail polish remover and your cotton balls all in one little slot so when it's time to do your nails you just pull out that triangle and you'd go to your nails and then you pop it back in and it all stays organized in together so I really like that this is customizable and that you can add a additional little containers if you want to. I think it was very thoughtful in the way that they did that. Now, unfortunately, the price point isn't any better than the Home Edit, um, but the customizability is there. As I'm thinking about all of this, I'm like, is the Home Edit line going away? What do y'all think? I mean, if the container store can make all these products and even make them better at a lower price, I wonder if the Home Edit line will still be available. What do y'all think? They also have these silicone insert turntables which if you are organizing in the kitchen and need an 11 inch turntable this is a good option my favorite turntables are actually the nine inch ones from the home edit i find that they work really well on cabinet shelves and then i love a giant lazy susan this one has a lower lip on it um so i'm actually not quite sure about this one it's pretty expensive and the home edit also has one that i actually like better because it has a bigger lip let me show that one to you Okay, see how this one has a larger lip? Now it is more expensive. It's $39.99 compared to the $34.99, but I think that's worth it for an under sink space. So Home Edit can win, but just on this one. Okay, these storage bins actually remind me of a more beautiful version of the Shimo bin, which I like to use in deep drawers um, to organize toys and crafts and things like that. And I thought they were gonna be a higher price point, but they actually are a very similar price point to the Shimo bin that you see here. The biggest difference is this tab on the end, and that could interfere with putting these in a deeper drawer, but I still see these as a beautiful option for storing stuff that's out in the open for books, notebooks, magazines, stuff like that. And if you're in a closed space, you can always go back to the tried and true connecting bins that I've always liked um, to store in drawers and use for toys and crafts and stuff like that. These are a great option for half the price. And last but not least are these adorable spice labels. They come in white and black, and they're really cute, writing um, to put on your spice jars. The one thing I will say is that I like the jar label combination that are available on Amazon. They're very affordable and they come together. So I'm going to link those below because even though these are cute, I still think you should go Amazon on that. Okay, that's all for the new products at the Container Store. I think they have some really good stuff. Definitely that egg drawer is totally worth the splurge. In fact, it's only 22 bucks compared to the $40 one that I was buying before. And I love that tiered organizer where it really uses that space with the drawer underneath. Highly recommend that. I'm really excited about this line. The thing that I'm most excited about is they definitely listen to the needs of organizers. It's very clear that they worked closely with professional organizers to develop these products and that's where the container store is cutting edge and why a lot of people can justify spending a little bit more um, to shop their products. I also want to point out that those everything bins are some of my favorite, favorite products and I love that they now come in a deeper size so you can really customize your drawers. So my big question is, do you think that these new products are better than the home edit line that they sell? Because I kind of think they are. I'd love to hear, put your comments below and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.